New figures show a chronic shortage of permanent staff in Victorian schools is costing the state up to a million dollars a day in relief teachers. The Education Union says the problem will get worse, but the government is refusing to admit there's an issue. The students are showing up, but where are the staff? A Freedom of Information request has revealed the number of absent days by state teachers tallied 731,000 last financial year. That equates to one in five teachers off at any given time, costing a million dollars a day in substitute wages. Students are paying the price. Students aren't having stability in the classroom. They're the ones that are missing out. The demand for fill-ins hit a peak in March when public schools paid more than $2.4 million for replacement teachers for every school day. Schools citing staff sickness, burnout and permanent vacancies for the rising need. The Education Minister blames the pandemic. A lot of this stemmed back to the pandemic where our teaching workforce worked incredibly hard right through. At the same time, he says schools are not under-resourced. And our schools are fully resourced, both our specialist schools, our public primary and secondary schools. I tell that to the teachers and the support staff and principals who are going above and beyond right now uh, to fill gaps. Tell that to the children who haven't had permanent teachers. Australian Education Union says this is a problem that's going to get worse and a demand for teachers already outstrips supply and their forecasting suggests by 2028 Victoria will be more than 5,000 teachers short. We're rolling out 100 new schools to open by 2026. The agenda in education is strong. Steph Baumgartel for 10 News First.